Hello adventurers. Today we're going to look at my user interface and how I set up my keybinds. Should be a fun one today. Thanks for coming along. Let's hop into it. I've been playing DDO since the beginning and between that point and when I came back five, six years ago or so, um, I just played off of the active hotbar and just using my mouse to click on spells and abilities. Um, yep. Since then, I definitely have changed. I now use still the active hotbar, but I add in more key binds that definitely make it a lot easier to play this game. So hopefully this video really helps you out. Hopefully you learn something. That's always my goal. All right, so first off, we're gonna look at the final result of what my UI and uh, keybind setup looks like. And then I'm gonna show you exactly step-by-step step how to set it up. Hopefully it inspires you to maybe change something, change something up or just a different perspective on everything. So uh, we'll start from the bottom. I have the chat one on the left. That's pretty standard, I'd say. Um, bars one through seven are all my kind of spells and abilities kind of the heroic ones for the most part. Um, I have bars 18, 19 here. These are all my kind of epic abilities or meta magic um, toggles, stuff like that. Then on the right side over here, bars 11 through 17, these are all my items and my gear. My top section is all my kind of keep equipped gear. And then in this middle section, these are kind of like your alternate items. Um, whether you have featherfall or underwater action items, whether you have clickies such as hood of unrest or in the ring of spell storing, um, and then I keep weapons and my harper pin on the bottom here. Bars eight, nine, ten are my kind of potions at the top. Other kind of unique items such as the jack jibbers, um, and then I keep my hirelings here scrolls here and then my like transportation and kind of teleport items here map is up top here your objectives is over here i have bar number 20 over here on the left side this is the main menu items if you didn't know you can pull these off and you can place them on your hop bar it just makes it so much more convenient love it it's awesome i have the connection button I remember what you call network connection item um, up here so I can see kind of what my latency is if I have any loss percentage just to see if there's any substantial lag and then this is where the party information is right here so yeah health bars and then your examination window down at the bottom here so before we get into how to rebuild my UI and do all the key bindings. The first thing I highly, highly recommend is to get the UI skin Blackbird. I use the black one. I think you can pick any of these colors. Um, for me, the black just kind of melds better into the background. So it's easier to see all the um, hot bar items, my different um, abilities, items, what's actually equipped and stuff like that. So it's not too hard to install it. Um, basically, you download the files, you go into your DDO files, um, find a skins folder. Or no, you have to create skins in like a UI folder. Um, and it's a little a little step by step right here. I don't, it wasn't too bad. If I can do it, I think people can do it. <laughs> so I'll post a link to this in the description below. Like I said, highly recommend. All right, let's build a user interface. This is the standard user face that you start out with. Um, this is a brand new character on a brand new server. So um, I stretch the chat out. Chat you don't have to play around with a little bit. Um, I like to stay in the party chat. And so I'll change the incoming text. So it's just party and then guild and then tells. So just party, just guild and just tells. Just so it's easier to see your party chat. Um, play with this, pick out which chat you would like to have. Uh, next, we're going to pop out all of the hot bars with this little arrow here. And so we're gonna pick out all 20. So we're gonna set up all 20. 
and then I have hot bar number one as the kind of toggle switch. So jump cut to me cleaning up all of these. All right, so now we have all of our hot bars in the place that I prefer. I like doing one through seven over here, um, eight, nine, 10 on the side here, 11 through 17 here, and 18, 19, 20. Um, note that for key binds, you can only key bind specific spots on hop bars 1 through 10. Because I loaded my UI, the names moved from up here to the bottom. Next, if you took my advice and you downloaded Blackbird, go to UI settings, and then the UI skin is down below there. As you can see, there's this kind of like grayish, kind of white looking bar, and then we're gonna change it to Blackbird. It just makes every kind of makes the UI, like I said, meld into the background a little bit easier. Um, and it's not as much in your face. So it makes the abilities definitely pop more. And that's kind of the whole UI. I don't really, I just setting up your hot bars is a lot of the work. The easiest tool to help you is there is a keybind, not keybind, but a command UI lay, layout um, load and layout save. And then you put your UI name. You slash UI layout save or load and then the name so save i'm going to just name it five <laughs> you can also name it you know standard or if you want to do per class you can do wizard something like that slash ui layout save wizard and then it should tell you in the general chat where it's saved to save ui layout to your folder layouts and then the name that's uh that's how you build a ui pretty easy i for me it's all about keeping it visually organized so that's why i like it cut up in spells abilities items consumables stuff like that makes it much easier on my eyes at least all right, so now we're gonna do key binds. First, let me show you. So you can drop these items from the main menu onto the hotbar over here to make your life easier. Uh, pick the ones you want. I use most of them, especially the frequent ones, enhancement, reaper points, epics, um, the stuff that you'll click on pretty often. So let's do key binds. So let's start up here. The interaction keys, this is mostly your kind of mouse and your steer. So I use a five key mouse. It's the mouse that has your standard left and right, mouse one, mouse zero and one technically. Three, which is the, if you click in the mouse wheel and then the side buttons four and five. And then for my keyboard, I use a standard keyboard. It has a 10 key on the right side. It has the um, insert home page up delete and page down kind of six key above the arrow keys kind of out of the way and so I use those two so back to the mouse the two I use is the standard attack and interact um, that is the left mouse click button zero and then for button one I use the classic interact and steer and I think my Y is inverted. I think for standard, it's, I can't explain it. <laughs> it just feels wrong to me. <laughs> so if you need to invert your um, your mouse look Y axis, it's on the little mouse tab. And you can change your sensitivity and stuff over there. Um, but I like mine inverted, I guess, technically. I don't usually invert my mouse. <laughs> um, there's a lot of different ways you can interact and steer um, in this game, which is honestly really nice. Um, so play around, whatever makes you feel comfortable, this is where you'll find it. Moving down to movement, I do use forward and back as W and S, that stays the same. I do use the strafes as right as D and strafe left as A. So you can kind of run side to side. For me, this makes me feel most comfortable, makes me feel most in control. Um, I do use turn right and turn left as Q and E. Now those buttons in standard form are your kind of interact with Q and then, or I'm sorry, your select is Q and then your interact is E. So if that's more comfortable for you, you know, keep it that way. If you don't feel like you need to turn in this game because you can strafe and look with your mouse, um, you know, do what's comfortable to you. Um, jump is space, which is great. Auto run is R, honestly the most used key in the game. Um, toggle mouse look 
you don't really need. At least I don't use that at all. If you hit T, it turns on kind of like a permanent mouse look. It's the same as if you hold right mouse, at least for me. So I feel like you don't need it at all. Camera changes, zoom ins, stuff you don't really use, and use until you kind of pick it up. Um, the panels I keep the same. A lot of the stuff I keep pretty much the same. So character sheet is C, map is M, inventory is I, adventure compendium is P, and other stuff like that. Um, one of the ones you'll use a lot is examine. So if you've selected something and you hit Z, it pops up the little examination window right here. Pretty useful. And then quest XP I use a lot. Voting names, which is something you'll accidentally hit a lot of the times, it turns on and off the overhead names for NPCs and friends. I like to keep mine on, so I make sure that that's turned off. Um, frame rate, control F. It pops up your frame rate on the right side of the screen. Now we get to block. Block by standard is shift. I change mine to alt and we get that. We'll get there and I'll explain that once we talk more about the hot bars and the different kind of keybinds on the hot bar bars itself. Because I used shift plus one, plus two, plus three. Um, on the hot bar, and I'll show you that in just a second. Screenshot, just because I like taking screenshots, I change mine to print screen, makes it easy. Push the talk, I use the tilde button that's next to one, just so I have F as a key. Um, there's a lot of targeting system. I don't change mine as a lot, um, a lot. Select next combat target as tab is the one I use the most. All your F keys up top, select your party members. So F1 selects you, and then F2, F3, F4, all the way down. Now, shortcuts. So if you hold control and then you hit a number, it takes you to the shortcut bars down below. So personally for me, my main like usability in attacks, I use bar number five. Let's get down to the hop bars. So we can change all of the shortcuts for the bars and then you can change individual um, key binds for individual little buttons on your hop bar. So like this is specifically for short, short car Shortcut bar one, slot six. First thing I'm gonna change is shortcut bar six. The one above kind of the bar I keep selected. This is gonna be my shift plus the number. So if the bar you're selected, you can use abilities just by hitting your normal 10 key above your WASD. So like if I hit one, because I have this bar selected, it activates that ability. Um, I'm going to create shortcuts for bar number six. So when I hit shift plus the number, so shift plus one, shift plus two, shift plus three, um, it's going to activate the abilities above the bar. All right, I'll just do those for now. But I, I do the whole bar, eight, nine, ten as well. So what I use on this is my abilities that have charges is what I'll use. And then down below here is what I'll use for attack. So you just hit shift plus one. Um, the other key binds that I change is on bar number seven on the top bar up here. This is, these are where my Reaper um, activate double strike defenses. The activate ones is where I use those. So I, on my 10 key, I use the 10 key zero. 10 key period and the 10 key one or numpad i suppose if people are more familiar with that it's kind of on the right side where my mouse is so i can kind of reach over and click those and use those as well also on hot bar number seven eight nine and zero i use t and y and u for up top here and this is where i usually keep my healing spells back to bar number one on the bottom side seven eight nine and zero I change it so it is F, then G, then V, then B. So they're kind of in the same section on the keyboard, F, then G, and then V, then B. And these are abilities like charges or favorite soul wings. Um, B I use for like intimidate and stuff. These are just kind of more easier to click buttons that you'll use more often basically. Over on bars eight, nine, and 10, these are where I keep a lot of my potions. The five kind of major potions that you should always keep on you. Remove curse, remove disease, remove blindness, uh, lesser restoration, and remove poison, neutralized poison, I guess is technically what it's called. 
So I keep them on the top bars over here in the one slots and the two slots. And I use my six keys above the arrow keys, the insert, home, page up, delete, and then page down. So since they are technically on three different bars, you just have to be conscious of where you put it. Insert on the top there, and then below it is delete. Then on bar nine, it's home, and then in, and bar 10, page up, page down. So again, just easier to hit those buttons if you wanted to. I honestly, for the most point, click on those potions, but sometimes I use the keybinds as well. Something I did forget to talk about is my mouse key bindings. Now we did talk about the left and right button, left button being attack and the right being the steer, but button three and four, the side buttons I use for the uh, like select interactable and then the interact. So the select next interactable, I use as button four, the upper button. And then the interact I use as button three. So I can look around, sorry, look around, see where all my interactables are, and then use the back button to do what I need to do. It's very convenient for picking stuff up off the ground. Again, the default is Q and E, which I think a lot of people use. Um, I just use those as my turn keys. Don't know why I changed. I might change back. Probably not. Who knows? Thanks for joining me on this educational video. Hopefully you learned something about keybinds or UI layouts. Uh, but yeah, thanks for joining me. See you next time. Stay safe out there.